The Unicheck Plagiarism Checker is a tool that you or your students can use to check their papers for any similarity with online sources or with text in other student papers. In this video, we'll show you how to, you can use this tool in your course and how to access and interpret the reports that Unicheck generates. Let's start by going to your Canvas course and creating an assignment that enables the Unicheck option. You can create an assignment in your modules area or in the assignments area of your course. Let's start by creating an assignment in the module and select new assignment and give it a name. We'll say Unicheck test one and add that item to the module. Now we'll go to that assignment and click the edit button on the top right to edit the settings for this assignment. You can add a description as usual and the points. I'll say 10 points here. Uh, but the main option under the settings for this assignment that we want to change is the submission type because Unicheck is used for analyzing papers that students submit online to your Canvas course. So let's change the submission type to say online. And that will open up some other options below there and we want to check the option that says file uploads. And then there's another option that pops up underneath that that says restrict upload file types. I also recommend checking that option and restricting the types of files that your students can submit. Traditionally, online papers that students submit will be Word documents, which have uh, a suffix of DOC or DOCX. So I'm going to enter DOC, comma, DOCX. Also, they may submit a PDF. So I'm going to also add comma PDF. And feel free to add any other types you wish, but those are the most common. Also below there is a plagiarism review section that has popped up and this is where we turn on the Unicheck option for this assignment. We click this pop-up menu that says none and change it to say Unicheck. As soon as we do that some Unicheck specific options will appear. The first option that appears is one that says exclude submissions from institutions library. You basically use this option if you want Unicheck to not store the papers that your students submit. For example, for a draft assignment or if you're, for example, teaching a class where students typically submit very similar papers repeatedly, such as a lab. Um, so I'm going to turn this option on in this case just to make it a draft assignment. The next option says auto exclude citations and references from search. By default, Unicheck will ignore any citations in the body of the paper and any references at the end. You'll find it may uh, ignore some sentences that it thinks are citations, but really aren't. But as we'll see later in this video, there are ways to refine how it interprets different citations or non-citations. Finally, at the bottom here is our two numeric options for Unicheck. The first one says omit sources with a similarity percentage less than 0%. Um, this is about that it will match text in many different sources. Sometimes it will match just a tiny percentage of text and you may wish to ignore those circumstances. So I might recommend you increase this percentage to 5% or some value like that, but in this case we'll keep it at zero. The final numeric option for the unit check is omit sources with number of matching words less than eight. So this says that if a, if a sentence has less than eight words and it finds a match, it will ignore it. But if it has eight or more words, it will include it as a matching uh, similarity in its report. And this is another option you might wish to increase to a higher value like 10 or 12. And then at the bottom, there's an option of when or, or do you wish to share the Unicheck report with your students. If you click this pop-up, you'll see the different options. There's You can show, let students see the Unicheck report immediately, after the assignment is graded, after the due date, or never. If you let students see the, the Unicheck report immediately, that gives them an opportunity to learn more about uh, plagiarism and academic integrity and revise their uh, paper before submitting the final version. Then change any other options for the assignment you wish, such as the due date, and then finally click Save and Publish. So what does this look like from the student point of view when they're submitting to your assignment? Well, let's switch to the student view and see what it's like. We're going to click on the Home link in the Course Navigation menu and then click the student view button on the right sidebar to switch to student view and we'll know we're in student view now by the pink purple bar at the bottom. We're going to click on the link to the assignment and then click the submit assignment button in student view. 
and it looks just like a normal assignment submission box in Canvas, except there's one tiny difference. At the bottom here is an extra checkbox that says, this assignment submission is my own original work. The text of this checkbox here might be slightly different but based on your school, but they'll have to check this to certify that the, the paper that they're submitting is their own original work. Then they have to click Choose File to choose the document they want to, to submit for the assignment and then click the, sub, the blue Submit Assignment button. Once that's been uploaded, uh, they get confirmation that the submission has been turned on. And if you allow students to do this, they can read their Unicheck report too, although it usually takes uh, a number of minutes to generate that report. To view the report, they have to click this link on the right sidebar that says Submission Details. And now we're going to pause the video and wait for the Unicheck report to be added to this page. So now there's appeared a small box, a colored box, with a percentage value in it. In this case, the box is red because it shows a high matching percentage of 84%. That's because the paper that I uploaded has some examples of uh, plagiarized text. Uh, they can click on this box to access the Unicheck report. The color might be red, it might be green if it's a very low value, or other colors. But let's look at the report in the teacher view instead. So let's leave the student view on the bottom right to go back to this. Uh, let's go back to uh, the home just to show again how to get back to this report from the beginning. Click on the assignment. Uh, it now is showing that something has been submitted to this assignment. It says zero out of one submission is graded. So we can go to the speed grader. And this pops up in a new tab, the normal speed grader. You can still use the speed grader just as normal in any other assignment with the annotation tools. You may have a rubric showing up up here. and But again, there's that small colored box with the percentage, and that's how you access the report. Don't click on the link here to the file. That will download just the original file submitted for the assignment. Instead, click on the colored percentage box, and that will open up a new tab with the Unicheck originality report. So how do we interpret this Unicheck report? On the left side, it shows the paper with different text highlighted in different colors, depending on whether it was a match online or if it was a citation or reference. And on the right is a sidebar that has details about any matches that it found. At the top, there's a legend that explains what these different colors mean in the, in the paper. I can collapse it or uncollapse it. There's an option here to convert the paper to just plain text or keep the style. And then there's these two tabs here. The first one has, says doc versus all, and it shows the overall similarity percentage, in this case 84%, versus the originality percentage, in this case 15%. And if you scroll down, you'll see different sources where it found matching text. And at the very bottom, it's, it shows that it found a, a match in the local institutional repository, too. This is because I tested it out with a very similar paper before. And I'll show you how you can ignore some of these sources if you wish to. But let's go back to the top here. And there's another tab that says exclude, and it has a quotation symbol. If I click on that, this shows that 11.9% of the paper it determined was references, and it, it ignored them by default. And then 4.61% was citations. So before I explain uh, the different types of matches that it can find in a report, I'm going to turn off, tell to ignore that previous paper that I uploaded and that it matched. So I'm going to scroll down here to where it says showing results for local library. And it, find, it found that paper that I submitted before that was very similar to this. And I'm going to click the X to tell to remove that matching source or uh, otherwise ignore that source and then recalculate the matching or originality percentage. So now it says omitted for one source. If I scroll back up, now instead of it being 84% similarity percentage, it only has an 8% similarity percentage. So now though, let's look through this paper to look at some of the different types of matches that it found. Start with this yellow highlighted sentence. And again, yellow, as the legend mentions, means that it found a similarity match. So this is something that it found was it is interpreting is potentially copied from an online source. In this case, it's a sentence that says, I believe that both men and women should have equal rights. If I click on this yellow highlighted text, it shows me uh, the actual source where it found that sentence. 
Although, of course, in this case, this is just a commonly worded sentence that is just coincidentally matched and not an example of intentional plagiarism or even unintentional plagiarism. So we can again click the X symbol by the source if we want to, tell, to ignore that match. But that, in this case, that alone won't get rid of this yellow text because it also found that sentence on many other sources. So this is another case where that original setting for the options of Unicheck you may want to change. Uh, instead of just eight words or less to ignore, you might want to increase that value to 12 words or more. Then it would ignore coincidental matches such as this. Next, we see some blue text. If I click on this, it jumps to the citations because this is a quoted uh, text string with parentheses and a citation at the end. It ignored this text. Again, if it incorrectly interpreted this as a citation, you can hit the X symbol to tell it to ignore it, and it will recalculate the matching percentage. Now we see another regular similarity match in a block, block quote, and this is showing a 5% match with an online source. That's more significant of a match. So again, you may want to increase that percentage minimum in the unit check options from 0% to something a bit higher, 5% or even 10%. In this case, a significant amount was copied from this online source and they didn't quote it or cite it. You can click this chain link icon to the right of the source and it will pop open uh, a, a version of that source that is annotated with Unicheck highlights to show where exactly on that page they copied that text from. And again, if you wish to ignore it, you can. If I scroll a little further, I can see some other short coincidental matches. Um, and then this purple section, that's, as the legend indicated, this is the references section, and by default it's ignoring that in its similarity report as well. And lastly, I just want to mention that there is a commenting mode button up here. If you click that, you can annotate the paper with your own comments in Unicheck and click Post, and it will add your own annotations. I would prefer though instead to use the annotations available in the standard speed grader tool in Canvas. I'm going to click exit comment mode to get back to where I was before and there is a generate report button at the top right to uh, generate a PDF version of this report that you can use for storing or sharing with others. If you have any questions or need any support using Unicheck please contact IT support or the faculty development centers or contact Unicheck support on their website. Thank you very much.